Oh, what's up guys? This is the Broke Woman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom or the Republic of Venice. And in this episode, we are attacking Christiana, and this should be uh, the destruction of the Swedish faction. So let's get cracking. The enemy has lots of howitzers, uh, mortars, sorry. So we are going to want to push forward quite aggressively. And, but apart from that, it looks, I, I think, almost across the board, we've got quite a lot of well-placed armies to conduct a good push against the Dutch in Western Europe. So if we can take over Scandinavia, consolidate our control there, those armies could potentially invade um, Great Britain and then after that push through into the Americas. Because once, I mean we're doing a really good job of uh, clearing out the former colonial empires. So once Britain and the Dutch and the Spanish are gone, um, America is going to be ripe for the taking. Sadly, we've got some rain, so let's drop my out just behind the line to provide some gunfire support. My foot artillery is kind of useless. I suppose if I deploy them back here, they might lob shells over my line, perhaps. Foot artillery does have a crazy high arc of fire. Uh, let's set my line up. Let's get my Marines and Grenadiers to push to the right towards the town. Get my Swiss line in here. Get my skirmishes on the left. Bulk my cavalry out on the left because that's they've got more freedom to manoeuvre. But let's get ready to storm forward as quickly as possible. We do not want to give the enemy any time at all to get into position and do what they want to do. I'm happy to let my artillery to engage at whatever targets they see fit. Everybody just advance forward quite aggressively. Yeah, the carcass shots coming in, so actually, no, they're not within shrapnel shots. So let's get my guns, really get my guns to focus on the enemy infantry coming in not the enemy artillery so this right flank is going to be quite aggressive there you go excellent uh, excellent how it's a fire that's going to do a lot of damage to them they'll get the first volleys off but we will be able to do so much more damage to them. We want to keep our line pushing up aggressively. Where's my skirmishes? Don't walk, run. Cavalry scoot up behind them. The Sweden's got into melee with one of our formations, but the 76th. Actually, let's get my now oh, it's a switch to round shot, attack the enemy line. This unit should fire by rank into the 13th, and you did, so that's them. <laughs> They're out of the picture. Make sure the game's not done anything really stupid and turn my sound effects off. Push forward, man. The right flank is gone. Keep our line fixed for the time being. Okay, on our line here, push forwards. Cavalry here, just try and knock out that last gun team. There's only one infantry unit. Oh, actually, it's a mortar, get mortar unit. Let's try see if we can break them with cavalry. Fire, or cavalry um, attack. And there we have. Um, let's commit my general into the action. Infantry ceasefire, because you're just going to be killing my own cavalrymen at this point. So it's not. We're not doing this to try and kill enemy 
units. We're doing it just to try farm a little bit more experience out of the Swedish. Because that will be the end of their games. Um, you attack the mortar crew to just kill that unit. Just because it's there. I don't know if they got any increased experience out of that. But I think you guys better gang up on this one file or come citizen unit, otherwise they'll never escape. My general could get another sheriff on that would be ideal, but I don't think they're gonna do it. Killing. There's a big clump of them. Ah, one of them escaped. That's the end of that. I think, yeah, these guys are probably gonna escape as well. Never mind, worth a shot. Although there's definitely a point at which you kind of don't really need to do this. You re when you when your infantry gets to really high experience levels, it's really hard to get them above, you know, five, unless they unless they're doing lots and lots and lots of kind of defensive actions. But Norway's ours. Let's get the government, the military building demolished. Let's get the infantry. Um, replenishing. Let's destroy this port. Let's destroy this religious school because it'll be Protestant. Same here. Let's upgrade the lumber mill. And upgrade. Let's upgrade the mines. So in Sweden, you could probably stand try recruit some dragoons so that we can garrison the city and push out. Malmo. Let's just start recruiting some sloops. This dockyard, keep upgrading. Upgrade a few of our industry buildings, Lilia. Let's put another church school. Because we've already got one, the second one won't hurt. Let's upgrade some of Sweden's economic infrastructure. This will probably stand. Yeah, move you down to Malmo, ready for another offensive. Because we are at war with Britain. But the main thing is... Okay, so if I take my Dragoons, put them into Hanover. They like that. They can handle that. Make sure we don't recruit any more. We don't need them. Luca. I wonder how far you can get. So, if I get this army to lay siege to Strasbourg, that brings in the garrison plus all these supporting armies. If I take Simone, march him to about here. Yes, you have plenty of time to catch up. Although, apparently not, actually. If you get kind of close, let's just try and engage this army. Yes, we do bring him into ba into battle, which is good. Let's switch up just a few of the units, just to make sure we get more infantry up front. Apart from that, everything's probably pretty okay. Then in terms of the city garrison, we're going to hope we don't necessarily need them. But let's just fix some of the infantry in. So if we can destroy this grouping of troops here, suddenly Brussels is looking quite vulnerable. Um, but yes, let's attack this concentration of Dutch troops. They've got lots of artillery, so we're going to be doing lots of harassing with our cavalry, our 280 strong heavy cavalry. Uh, God knows where that's come from. Anyway, let's attack the Dutch, get ready to bust through this line. Head toward, or head through the German states towards Paris. Then we can attack Spain from the north and the south at the same time. And then once we've taken Spain, that's Western Europe done. We need to start building up troops to order 66 some of our former allies, such as the Italian states and Savoy. Apart from that, though, we should be okay. Anyway, let's get kicking. Come on, I'm, I'm really keen to play. Okay, so we've got 
an element of high ground in the center, which complicates our operations slightly. Foot artillery is likely to be limited to round shot. Okay, let's put my line infantry in a big group heading. Eh, mm. They're going to split up, get around that feature, but that's okay. My grenadiers and pikemen, they can just kind of hold for the time being. Same with my cavalry, we want to kind of see where they come in. Actually, that's true. At this point, it is all just one army. In which case, let's re-jig our line. Probably want to hold this side. We can deploy some of these units. Defend our right flank. With pikes in reserve. Howitzers. Although we probably have to actually didn't really look at their dispositions. Infantry run, because they're gonna they're running in to try and intercept us. I say run. Drop into square. Pikemen run over here. This formation advance slowly and with caution. Pikemen intercept. Infantry here. Push forward at speed. Guerrilla mercenaries push up on the flank. Hussars get up on the left. Heavy cavalry on the right. There we go. Swiss line advance up as reserve. So howitzers. Quick play in the enemy militia concentrations, although actually it's usually better off we're usually better off using foot artillery to engage the troops that are out on the field. Quick line to attack ground to try and attack the enemy artillery that are in their fortifications. Okay, actually let's get my Swiss line up here. Push forward, something like that. We are going to want to squeak over this terrain feature. Hold where we are to intercept the regiment of horse for the time being. If we can break them, that'd be super. Yeah, they're going after that infantry unit, that's okay the line. Let's put some danger close. Quick climb ahead of us. Hussars get on the move. Heavy cavalry get on the move. Actually heavy cavalry go after the Hussars. The light infantry have elected to charge us. Hussars run around the flank. Let them do what they want to do. Happy to let my skirmishers squabble over here. Infantry push forward. To my warband, withdraw, fire will off. Hussars get to the centre of the enemy formation right here. And my general over here. The enemy heavy cavalry is wavering. Lots of enemy troops in the centre are breaking. Hussars hit the enemy line infantry in the rear. This infantry unit push forward and attack the mercenaries. Just retarget my howitzers just so I don't kill too many of my own men. 
Hussars, try kill the General's bodyguard. Marines, get behind that infantry unit there. General, go for the blender by shotgunners. Makes my general a bit vulnerable. Pikemen, advance. Line infantry, push forward and attack them. Everything's getting a bit scrappy because it is my first battle of the day. Okay, you man advance. Just get right up in their grill. My general has fallen. No, Simone. Not Simone. Not Simone. Yes, yeah, Simone. You died to blunderbuss shotgunners. At least see if we can kill their general for that. Artillery ceasefire. So where's the enemy coming in from? The right flank. You in my own marines, you guys attack them. Pikemen scamper over to the right flank. Missiles attack the blunderbuss shotgunners here. Those have fallen. Marines are going to charge into the back of the mercenaries, draw their sabres, run one through. Oh, my hussars going off. See, I don't know. So they were this side of the barrier. Why did my hussars decide to run through? It's always the tricky thing about these barricades. They just they do punish you if you don't pay attention. Okay, my infantry form up here. Foot artillery to engage that general's bodyguard. I think we've got more enemy, enemy troops coming over on that. Over here as well. Howitzer is engaged the conscripts. Other howitzer engaged that unit of garrison guards. So my marines are gonna some of my marines are gonna advance forward. That regiment of foot is gonna withdraw. Okay, you're gonna have to advance towards the enemy because we need to clear out these formations. So here comes the enemy cavalry running towards our square. Well, they're trying to go for my warband. Full strength unit of dragoons, but my pikemen will run them through. Heavy cavalry go for the general's bodyguard. Gorillas get up on top of the hill. Dragoons were broken. Keep attacking the general's bodyguard, don't let them get in the way. Infantry needs to advance forward because they've not got a good shot. This is also the case here. They okay, all my artillery. All of them attack ground here, just lob shells in against the enemy. General's bodyguard unit, just withdraw them. Mr. Ferrari is dead. So you run, you 
run through those hussars. Lots of fratricide on the right flank. You men push up to get rid of those garrison guards. You men position to engage the Wadlek infantry. Oh, my most my um heavy cav routed. Let's get my pikemen out of here. They're gonna suffer some friendly fire, but that's okay. Bit of friendly fire there. How it is. Drop some shots off like so. Carabiner, I didn't deploy any of them. The entire action. Most of their dragoons to chase down my pikemen. We're losing troopers thick and fast. Skirmishes, get up here. Just run like that for now, although the main thing is just getting into the action. Pillory limber up. There we go. I thought those, those cavalrymen would come back. So who's back here? A lot of gun teams. Technically, that's probably the best gun position. Line infantry engage the infantry. Guerrilla mercenaries run away. Send my marines in. But these units can expand my front line. Massing their fires. We're going to want to slowly squeak forward and trap them in the field. Carabiner up here first, they can just unload carbine fire into the enemy. Advance, advance. It's these units that are bringing up the rear and reserve. There you go. Carabiner just. Pour fire in this block of enemy cavalry and artillery. Don't really care about who you shoot at. Near misses are good enough. Light infantry are picking off my bugged cavalry, but that's okay. Push forward. Oh, I got my cavalry to route. Okay, that's got them to commit into the field. They might come back. Push my pikemen forward. This infantry hasn't committed yet. Swiss grenadiers push forward into the light infantry, just batter them. Excellent. Infantry push forward into the corner. Pikemen move forward with their muskets ready to fire. Get my cavalry back up on the hill where they're supposed to be.
push my line forward to point blank range. Well, this is the first time he's taking a real kick in. Not that I mind. Plenty more where they came from. The Dutch Republic will have their blood. We can't, so we can't just charge cavalry and blindly because they've got stakes down here. So we're just going to rely on... Oh no, they are going. They are breaking and running. Go on, Carabiner. This is what you were born to do. Just sit here pouring musketry into the enemy's ranks. Some of these units aren't in range. Like that. Storm forward. Now you're all definitely in range. How oh, it's just gonna limber if they if they are fast enough. I'm surprised you're not killing your own guys. Drop quick limb shells right here just to go back through the entire enemy block. See if capturing guns had any value. Like, look how good this would be. Super valuable capture. But nope, apparently not. Capturing guns isn't a thing. Hey, that provincial cav came back and tried to attack my cavalry. The devils? Not that it really matters. Whew. A very bloody battle there. Still, I think we've we have done more damage to the enemy than they've done to us. Yep, my general has fallen. Oh, he can recruit a backup. Constantino Acerbi. Acerbi. So you're not ready to leave Cologne yet. We'll start recruiting dragoons. Do the same. Um, let's see. Let's try and assassinate some of these generals. Alright. You killed one of my agents. Very well. You try to kill this guy. Got him. We don't mind the Spanish agent because they're spreading the crew like Catholicism. Excuse me, news. Try you trying. Oh, no, that's my. Pronti. My guy. Assassinate arm, or try to. He's evaded two agents and killed a third. The swine. Okay, so you can maintain sieging Strasbourg for now. Just let them slowly wither on the grapevine. Yeah, we do need to go after Italy at some point. But not yet. This force that took Valletta, you're replenishing and everything's good. Algiers, you can commit. Fun. Dare I? Dare I commit them off of the coast of Spain to land and do cause havoc? The answer is yes. Of Spanish troops there. Okay, so you're gonna end up having to kind of just let's just go and attack Batista de la Casas. Just push them back into the Atlas Mountains. Tangier will fall soon, and then we can step across the strait and invade Gibraltar, and then we're on the Iberian Peninsula. Then they're really screwed. And then, as always, still need to build up our armies on the Persian border so that when they come for us, we're ready. Okay, you men, we're going to pump artillery fire from long range. The enemy's mostly cavalry. And they've got some skirmishes, which we're not that bothered about. I'm going to keep my skirmishes and my heavy cavalry together to try to see if 
we can tr we can trick the enemy or at least lure them into battle again to engage our skirmishes. Oh, a shrapnel shot wouldn't work. They're too far away. But yeah, these are prime candidates for canister shot, and when they get there, well, the prime candidates for quick climb shot and shrapnel shot when they get there. It looks like the enemy is not going to contest the hill, so we can try and take it, because that means we might yeah. get my cavalry up on the hill first. Skirmishes can kind of stay here, not fire. Trap, nearly shot. Lots of canister shot against the same unit. Pouring foreign lance and guards, they don't like being accepted. So we drop you in square. Okay, you men go there. Guerrilla mercenaries, just get into a position to pour fire into the centre. Round shot the Lusitania Regiment of Dragoons. Round shot the Horse Grenadier Guards. We may well cause some fratricide with our shrapnel shot, but I think it's a risk worth taking. These units all have to drop into square. Tercio Pikeman cried. But bless them, they've not got what it takes. Okay, let's commit some of my cavalry into the fight. That regiment of horse is probably going to run into the back of my army. Get my howitzers to switch around shot. They can focus on the general's bodyguard. Hey, look at this. They... Both of these enemy units came back. They, they would run straight into the back of my skirmishes, I would guess. So this unit's going to come back and engage the second regiment of horse. Yeah, Cassier unit against the general bodyguard. Artillery just round shot this unit of dragoons. Yeah, they've attempted to push forward, but it's not a good outcome. Curiosity against Regiment of Horse is always going to end one way. Skirmishers! Skirmishes broke my my heavy cavalry. True. But to be fair, I didn't forget about them. Quite a good manoeuvre by the AI there. Get my squares up. Horse grade guards. Okay, right, let's start to. Okay, my quick climbing howitzers want to go for the Tercio Pikemen, just make sure they go away. Foot artillery, you can kind of engage what you like. Well, you guys drop into squares because the dragoons are coming in. Everybody else can just push past them. Ceasefire. Good hit, though. Yeah. 
So Plague Men, I love Plague Men. They're great against cavalry, but against, well, especially when they're depleted against late infantry, they're not quite so stable. I mean, these guys have beautiful textures. There we go. We got them. Now you men join the line. Open fire as you would like. Press the air, go for general bodyguard. Everybody engage the gorillas. Yeah, my Crossier came back. Okay, this unit of artillery ceased fire. <laughs> they don't like it when they're the ones under fire. <laughs> okay, all oh, my artillery is fire. I'm going to continue because I'm going to cease fire on my artillery. We're going to attempt to try and kill the some of the enemy's units. Because they are a raiding army in, in a territory that we're about to capture, so it's probably in our interest to try and take them out. I'm not necessarily worried about it if we don't, but it's just... Have a go. It might pick the calculator just over and consider the army destroyed entirely. don't think so. I don't think we've done enough damage, but... That's kind of the hope. 308 men remaining. Not enough to destroy them, but Avanti. they are pushed out to oblivion. So you men replenish. Look at all this artillery. So we could have our work cut out with us here. We could really do with this Jesuit college spawning some priests. So we can start converting Morocco to Catholicism. So they will call in reinforcements from across the strait, but nothing of any... Actually, I wonder, actually, where's my fleet? Let's get you, because this is just a fleet of fifths and sixths, I think. There's some ships in here. One heavy first. Probably behooves me. To recruit, to keep recruiting a better fleet out of my naval hospital. So let's build, build the Admiral's flagship and get two heavy firsts. Well, maybe just the Admiral's flagship and we'll start to grow it in time um, because we're going to want some money to rebuild Tangier. So that, oh, we can, we can actually see what well, we could see for a split second there. There is a larger Spanish army in the interior. But we're going to have to take a few turns to pacify this territory. Because once we take over, they're going to really not like us. They're going to rebel. So we're going to want to build those church schools, get firing out Catholic priests. And to be honest, we may convert multiple buildings in Morocco to be um, religious buildings. Because we're going to want to send lots of religious agents over to America. Okay, let's set my out artillery up to fire just from long range. Not necessarily bothered about maximizing our artillery firepower at short range. The enemy has artillery, so we're going to want to push forward quickly rather than wait. at the back and it's behind it. It's at the back, right at the back. In some ways this works well for us because it means their reinforcements will commit. Or will, they will be committed earlier. Let's just run my cavalry past the front lines. They're not going to be able to... I was about to say, they're not going to stop us. They've got some lances in here. They're going to be seduced to charge into my Line infantry, though, I believe. 
looks the same for all of their cavalry. Right, go away, like Saz. The lances have suddenly gone out oh, nuts. Push forward, man. Cavalry have evaded their pikemen. <laughs> getting the full force of my musketry on the left. I keep my heavy cavalry out and a bit loosey goosey. Okay, you men get out of square, form line. Because you've got some stakes. It's the 15th gone, the 14th are on the way. If I engage the Hussars if you want to engage us, the new men engage that artillery unit. It's not really ideal, but just run towards the enemy. The enemy general has fled to protect himself, which is not a terrible move, but it just means that my cavalry is going to go to the right. The stick, the spikes. Those four are done for. Horse Grenadier Guards are trying to make themselves known. Cease fires, you see them kill all your own guys. And left flank just face off against the pikemen. This line infantry push forward. Foot artillery engage the grenadier, engage the horse grenadier guards because they're the most dangerous. Light cavalry got caught by the pikes, get out of there. Yeah, those pikemen are really giving, giving my line a wide berth. Bandoleros are engaging the back of my Cursier. Get around here. Okay. Attack the unit of Sakers. Here comes the enemy reinforcements. We know where they're coming in from, or at least some of them. They didn't charge that pike unit. Okay, you men run around and get that unit of demi cannons. Is that unit of pikemen gone? Um, let's push another infantry unit in to attack. Militia unit. You should deal with the pikemen. There we go. Okay, you men. Form line. These men push forward to support that line. Howitzers keep engaging 
horse grinding guards. You help push the flank, you guys help bolster the front over here. The reality that passes our strength grows, your strength wanes. So they're unloading their pistols at close range, but that's not a very good use of bandoleros. Okay, let's form up, form up our line. Australian guards are limber. All this carry on. In the centre of town, you can afford to just push through the town to get here. You guys okay, let's just try to fix their cavalry for now. Artillery, all of you engage the troops in the field. Oh, it's Spanish bandits. They lost a lot of guys. There's one unit of pikemen, second regiment's advancing, bandits have broken, the Gitarre shotgunners are advancing. You inform up to engage the militia. To be honest, you may as well do the same because you'll not make it in this actual engagement. One unit. Native African infantry just charge. Those bandoleros, these pirates. Pikemen are marching in. 49th Regiment have a volley. Or nearly, not quite. Commit. Yeah, see, my infantry saw them off. And shattered them. Nice. I think that's everybody. Oops, set this unit of militia. Oh, they broke anyway. Good, good, good. We are the colonial masters of Morocco. That's just about. Nearly forgot what it was called. But yes, that's Morocco taken, and now we have access to the Atlantic coast of North Africa, which is pretty awesome. So there's some Moroccan rebels, that's to be expected. Let's get rid of the school, they won't like that. Let's get these government buildings repaired because we actually have the money to do that. Get the army replenished. You're going to pursue the Spanish and the um, Moroccans. But yeah, we don't have any priests along the entire North African coast, I don't think. We've got one in Cairo. You are still converting, although you've not quite got rid of the religious unrest. But not far off. We've got still have a lot of things we need to upgrade. Um, but yeah, let's hold on to Tangier. This army can bounce around and clear out the leftovers. And then once we're ready, let's just get rid of the dried up. Once we've cleared up Morocco, we can advance into Spain. So there is a Spanish army ready to try and attack. Well, the Mounts are ready to attack us. We've landed troops in their country. I don't think we can claim to be um, the good guys in this one. Okay, so apart from that, let's just get a handful of cheaper upgrades. 
this agent okay just make them start the walk to paris is it they walked they walked all the way up to stockholm now they're no longer needed ah uh, yes finland it was something we pacified didn't we let's get rid of this church school we'll get rid of this happiness building replace it with a church school instead Baldessari Bomberi, let's get you up to Norway. Because these armies are going to be are going to be our probable strike forces against Britain. So let's see if we can raid. Oh, their, the Dutch will be protecting their ports. But not all of them. Newcastle we can raid, Glasgow, well, there's a lot of British troops in Scotland. That's a really neat Scottish themed army. Royal Highland Grenadiers, Highlander Warband, Scottish Line, Horse Grenadier Guards have the same, have like, they have a sort of certain Scottish aesthetic to them. Let's raid Liverpool, let's see if we can raid Bristol. Raid Waterford. We can't get home, so let's raid Newcastle. Don't worry, Britain, you will soon be ours. But let's hit in turn and see what happens. More troops advance to the front. More recruited forces march towards our front lines in the Middle East. Yeah, your There's an awful lot of mobile troops at the Strait of Hormuz. Yeah, that sloop is probably going to die. Yep. Ooh, there's a British army afloat. They captured our ship. Rats. Oh, well. So we need to deal with this army that's in Amsterdam, but I think we can. this force can push in kill them and knock them south of the river um, soon we're going to be in a decent position to isolate and destroy the forces around Brussels Spain are doubling down on the protection of Gibraltar I think our army in Spain needs to start bouncing around and causing some trouble We do need those dragoons, though, to start pacifying population. Yes, Savoy. Go get them. The Mughal fleet hasn't moved. Moroccan rebels, you're welcome to do what you like. We'll, you'll soon chill. You'll like what we've got to offer. A new rake in Denmark. Let's get this rake to run to Madrid. Fleet destroyed. Okay, that's a very grandiose word. Fleet to describe a sloop. I don't think we have any top level um, naval, like um, naval shipyards on this part of, the, I'm just part of the world, I don't think. So you're on the march. And these replenished. Mr. Bruno, can you leave St. Petersburg? You can. So you could move by ship, but I'm going to do it by land because I'm not overly fussed about the time frames of this exactly. So some of these armies may go south. To start to be the core of our armies in the Middle East, because we don't have any elite armies, although you are waiting on one unit to be recruited. It's not them. It's a gun team, though. Well, I'll just recruit a gun team, and if they get to you, they get to you. If they don't, they don't. Or if somebody else turns up, then somebody else turns up. So you can position near Taki, ready to strike at Dagestan. 
Okay, Rhineland, Rhineland, Byland once more. Okay, upgrade Gears, gets another, gets a state capital, and get farms as well. Upgrade the dockyard at Oran. Let's just wipe these guys out while we're here. Not in range yet to deal with the Moroccans, but that's okay. I was about to say they're chill with us, they really aren't. We can try to build a church school, but it might not let us. Let's not upgrade the roads, we don't want to improve their ability to move around unimpeded. Algiers gets a new dockyard. Alborg gets a steam engine factory. Stavanger gets church school. Bergen gets a trade port. Trondheim gets a craft workshop. I'm probably going to want to build one happiness building. Maybe. Either way, there's an awful lot of things we can build here. Church school. Can you leave Finland? You can leave Finland again. This is another army that's going to march toward Norway. Ready for an invasion of Britain, which is going to have to be significant in volume. There's an awful lot of tro troops on this island. Okay, Bulgaria upgrade. Upgrade the farm. It's effectively everything. So I've got a rake. Cross over into Spanish territory. Try get into the center of Spain. Although you can try and see. Oh no, you've got no. Hmm. Oh, you've not got any movement. Push to Madrid. See if we can upset them. Let's start to mass recruit. Two turns worth of Dragoons might be enough to pacify them and allow our army to actually move out. We might even destroy that craft workshop, just build church schools and then we can start shipping these agents um, out to America when the time comes. So you guys, two little Dragoons don't make a difference. Well, three dragoons from what if we can can Hanover abandon their dragoons at all? One turn will be okay. They're not being taxed yet. And I can try and exempt you guys from tax. We don't necessarily I'm not as bothered about the tax side of it. I mean, you could hit them, that'd be nice. You have to be careful of Württemberg, because they've actually got a, a full army of lots of militia. So these guys are going to be the core of a new army. Ricardo Spinelli. Good, okay, let's get a rocket troop. Get a heavy horse guard artillery unit, get a heavy horse howitzer unit. Or have you recruited them all? We may well have recruited them all. No. Can't have done. 12 pounder. 24. Sinking. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we have. Hmm. Well, 24 pounders it is. So you've already got oodles of... We've got cavalry already, so let's just get a few units of elite infantry. No, not two engineers. Let's get another Swiss line. And we want skirmishes, guerrilla mercenaries, and Swiss mountain Jaeger. Good. So you're starting. You're growth into a full fat army well, 
Although Dresden itself could probably stand to just churn out some line. And then Prague could probably recruit. Let's kind of bounce some of these troops around like that. 31,000. Okay, we probably... Oh, maybe we definitely want to get rid of the modern university out of Amsterdam. We attack you. Will that bring in these reinforcements? I think the answer is... Maybe. I think it's the presence of the road. In which case, then, we probably... to move you guys west smash the armies outside Brussels because so we'll bring the garrison into battle as well destroy them push them west potentially take Brussels and then I'll isolate this army for when we push in cool but looking at the timer I believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the, for the continuing adventures of Venice Cheers, everyone.